Hey guys, Nikki here, and this vlog will be sponsored by Kelly's Hair. They sent over this beautiful braided wig. It's like the best wig I've ever encountered in my entire life. So if you want to know more about this wig, please continue to watch. Okay, so let's hop straight to it. This is a 100% premium synthetic hair wig. The company is Khalees. I'm absolutely familiar with this company because you guys know that bang wig I love. I get from Amazon all the time. I got it in red, black, blonde. This is the exact same company. I'm so glad they reached out to me to sponsor me. So in the bag is wig caps. You get the little beads you can put at the end of your braids. I didn't use them. I forgot and some lashes. So this is what it looked like right here. Like I said in the intro, it is really lightweight. There's a band in here if you want to make it glueless, which is very much possible, and you will see that in the video. There's an adjustable strap at the back with a comb, and two combs at the front. This is like a full lace type wig. Of course, it has to be because it's braids. It did come with baby hair, and it is going to be absolutely amazing, okay? So it's very easy to apply. You can part it any kind of way because, like I said, it gives you that full lace look. And the braids are super neat, and I love the color. It's like Jet Black 1B. So the first thing I'm going to do is just tint the lace at the front a little bit. I didn't too much do the whole wig because if you notice, your scalp is like really lighter than your skin. So when you get braids, your skin is like lighter anyway. And I'm shaking my head like my hand like no because the wig is so lightweight, it's not heavy. So I'm just going to put the stocking cap, why do I say that? The wig cap on that came with it, it's a um, beige color. I'm just going to put that on there so my black hair do not, um, do not show through the lace. And everything that I'm using that the company didn't provide will be linked below. There's going to be a section that say hair products used, just click that. So I'm going to put the adjustable band on first and I absolutely love the way it fit is really tight and like I said you can make this glueless uh, which is the bum because you can take it off every night and don't mess it up if that makes sense the parting is good and everything the only thing I didn't do which is my fault I'm just shocked at how good it looked guys um, I should have went over the part lines at the beginning a little bit more after I put the wig on but you guys will see that so I'm using the even spray to adhere it um, it is glueless but I just wanted to put it on the whole way tonight just to see how it would come out and I'm, I'm not using a blow dryer because the even spray dries really fast so I'm just using this fan so I'm going to take a edge band and just tie it down so it can go ahead and stick to my head and that's what you see me doing right here so I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut the lace I'm going to cut the front section on camera excuse those big scissors but I couldn't find my hair scissors at all I have no idea where they're at so I'm just going to show you how I do this part and I'm going to cut the sides off camera so move the baby hair back and I'm just going to take the eyebrow razor and I'm just going to cut the lace off I'm going to leave a little bit in the front so I can have some blending room but you guys will see that so after I take the lace off I always go back in with the even spray and melt it into the scalp So right now I'm just pushing it down and like I said I'm just going back in with spray and making it work on the side as well. So you can wear this wig up. Um, that's why the lace was at the back but I think that might get heavy putting them all up in a bun. But they're pretty light so maybe not. So you guys know I'm more like a side part type person. When Maya do my hair she always do a middle part but I love me a good side part. So I'm just taking the baby hairs out because some of them got like glued up or not glued but like sprayed up in the gel or the spray and then I'm going to take the um which one is this the got to be glued the black container and just swoop the baby hairs and I'm going to do elaborate baby hairs and it's going to look cute because it's braids I don't know if I would do them like this if it was a wig with hair but it's braids so you see how good that look and that's why I was saying how like you can go with the liner brush in the front and like just go over your parts look at the back oh my gosh it looks like straight scalp you guys see it 
This is very well constructed. So I will leave the link to Kelly's hair along with my discount code below. I love this. It's super quick, it's super easy, and it's just bump. So don't forget to check them out. Link will be below. All right, so I kind of feel like I need to narrate this vlog because I've been gone for so long. Um, first of all, thank you all for the prayers, the calls, the texts, whatever you did. Um, I did have a very mild case of COVID. I'll explain that a little bit later in the video, though. Um, it messed with my mental more than my body, if that makes sense. So, um, I didn't do much. I don't even remember what I did. I just know I did a lot of unboxings. I got some stuff from Shein Haul that I'm going to show you guys. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the unboxings first. Hey, y'all. How y'all been doing? It's been a minute. It might not seem like it's been a minute because I've still been posting because I had lots and lots and lots of footage because I hadn't been feeling good. So, I've been able to edit and upload three vlogs with um, old footage that I had just in my camera. Anyway, I'm about to test again. I'm about on day 12, 13 ish. I don't, at this point, tomato, tomato. I've had three positives. Three positive tests. Yeah, I'm so mad. I missed the 4th of July. And we had a bomb room, didn't we? Dealing with meal credits, every day, everything on the lake. I missed Monet new reception. I felt like a failure, bro. I was there and there, there for everything. Dress fitting, bridal shower, everything. Babe, come put your flash, oh, my flashlight on. Got down to the last, the last thing. Let me put that back in there. And couldn't do it. Come over it a little more. And then I'm watching all the videos and stuff from it. It was lit. And then right to my how good the food and the cake was. It's alright though. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what time is it? I got my time wrong. That's so right here, 10.25. What are you doing? I'm trying to turn it off. Okay, I'll be back in 15. I'm using this for the light. Oh, finally. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, I just want to say glory to God. Thank you, God, because you guys know that I am super fragile. My nose probably still dirty from taking that test. I'm sorry. And I'm going to get my nose hairs clipped because they out of control. But um, y'all know that my, my system is weak. I have been through almost hell the last two and a half years. And when I got COVID, I was just like, this shit going to attack me terribly i know you're not supposed to speak negatively but it's that's just the type of year and a half two and a half years i've had and so um i'm, I'm very grateful because although i was the only person on that cancun trip that tested positive um i missed the fourth of july i missed um the reception like i said but i had a mal case now, don't get me wrong, it was rough. I had every single COVID symptom there is, except shortness of breath. So I had this, I was making sure my oxygen was good every day because I kept feeling like I had shortness of breath, but it was like indigestion, heartburn type stuff. And then of course I was taking my temperature every day. I'll link all this stuff below y'all. Um, I was taking my blood pressure every day. I have essential oils in here. I will sniff every day because I did lose my sense of taste and smell, but only like one day. Um, so just to make sure I was okay. Like I said, I had every some. I even had rashes. I put pictures. I had rashes out on my arm. Um, 
headache, nauseous, dizziness, chills. I had a fever for four days, uh, maybe three. I had um, pains, body pains. Oh my gosh, the body pains, the leg pains. My toes was hurting. Um, trying to think of something else that I want to make sure I told y'all because it was weird. My ass was hurting. Oh my gosh, coming back from Cancun, my butt was hurting so bad. I had to sleep. I had to sit on my purple pillow like this. I had to sit on it. And then that transitioned into like my butt hole hurting. Like I feel like sharp pains was shooting through my butt hole to my vagina. And I'm like, nah, nah, nah. This is weird. This is weird. So what happened was I wasn't feeling good when I got back. And so I thought it was because... I had ate some Chipotle. So I was just like, I'm just not feeling good because I ate that Chipotle. And then at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I had to wake Nicole up because I was like shivering. And I had a fever and my body was hurting so bad. So that's when I took my first test. It was negative. So I said, I'm going to still sit in here and isolate because I feel like when you come back from out of the country and stuff, you need to kind of isolate for like five days at least. And then my fever just kept and stuff just kept transitioning. My throat would hurt. The, my throat would feel real hot. I can't explain it. And so I waited that Saturday and tested again, and this one it was positive. So I had three positives because I did test the Friday before Monet's Miss Creative Diva reception. She had a reception here in Dallas because I was going to go to that reception. You hear me? And this is what's crazy. I got a false negative. So I'm so happy. I'm trying my dress on again, which I need to send back because I didn't wear it. I'm trying my dress on again. And so I get up and go to the vanity and take my bunnet off. I was like, let me figure out what I'm going to do to my hair and looked over. And the second line had popped up on the test. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. I just bust out crying. I was like... <gasps> But I, I'm so thankful that I didn't throw that test in the trash because if I would have threw it in the trash and just went on to the reception, I would expose so many people. So that was like God's way of, yeah, looking out for me because I looked over at that vanity. I thought I was tripping. I was like, oh my gosh, it has two lines now. And then what else happened? The the like the fourth day, not the second day after I was positive, they gave me the wrong tea. I asked her about five times to make sure that tea didn't have caffeine in it. It made me real sick. I still having chest palpitations and I had acid diarrhea all night. Then the next day I was having a little bit of a hard time. I was really congested. Like, oh, my head would be so tight. My nose was burning. That was probably my worst symptom, right? I was like, my nose just keeps burning like burning up in her like i can't not like burning from blowing it so much like in the inside <sighs> they put too much water in the steamer it boiled over and now i got what degree burns on my stomach she don't know the different degree i don't either obviously but yeah i was screaming one night babe yeah. you was scared yeah and i was just like you put too much water in it and i like threw it at her and then it burnt your hand didn't it yeah. is it more but my stomach, it, rubbed, it went all into my belly button. So my belly button was like low-key blit. I was mad. I said, if COVID don't kill me, your ass is. Ooh. I was so mad. I mean, I know she didn't try to, but I was just like, I said, don't put a lot of water in there. Because it's that, I need to take it up on Amazon. Because mm -hmm. I was watching one of Chelsea Vlogs before. And she was saying, it's a face steamer. And um, she was saying how she didn't like the way the water was popping out on her. But this shit just like boiled over like a volcano and just like shot all on my stomach. And all I could do was scream and cry. Like I was screaming because I just knew I was going to have to go to the ER. <sighs> but y'all, I'm negative. And my, I ain't never experienced nothing like that before in my life. It is like having the flu and cold and allergies all at the same time but the pain and the sickness is what is not what got to me what got to me is the mental of it 
like I don't know if his bed stuck in his room and Nicole never left out she was like I'm not leaving you back here by yourself because I be scaring her in the middle of the night and she wanted to be able to hear me if something happened so um and she perfectly fine but it was the mental like it mentally made me feel depressed like why and ugh, it was I, I that's the part I hated about it so yeah let's just hope I do a full recovery and I'm not a long hauler and I can get back on track what I will say is that you got to be careful because I still can't pinpoint where they can, I can't. <laughs> nobody else on the trip got it. I haven't been to Warriors. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm We both had, y'all saw we had on masks at the airport, um, on the plane. So I feel like how they saying we get it is not how we get it. I don't know why I feel like it's like our food, some in our food or something. Like, but we, we ate the same thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know because like it's so different. And I feel like it attacks was vulnerable because you guys know from having a parasite, I have internal hemorrhoids. And one day I was like, ah! and baby was like, what's wrong? Like the pain will just shoot through my butt. Like that. And what else we feel like it attacked a little bit? Nothing yeah. really. You was having throat problems? Yeah, I already told him that. I'm talking about like something that's already fragile on me. Well, yeah, my throat because I had just came from the ER. Right before um, Mexico, and I had I was dehydrated in a throat infection, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so my throat was hurting real bad when I had COVID. But anyway, the point of me coming back on camera was because Nicole has had it twice. The first time, her only symptom was she was so fucking tired, she couldn't even function. Like, she couldn't work. She just had to sleep. And then, like, your legs started hurting, like, the second, like third. Like type of hurt. Yeah. And my muscles felt weak her muscles felt weak <clears throat> the second time she was out of there she <laughs> fainted she threw up she had like the flu yeah. me i had more like the flu huh yeah yours was closer to like because you didn't ever get a fle fever neither time i had a fever for three days didn't I? Uh, it's weird it's it's so different that was actually what i was worried about because i couldn't get that to go down yeah it's so different for everybody. So, neither time, none of us have, neither one of us had shortness of breath. No. So, we had coughing. I had coughing. And I you had coughing the second time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and my coughing didn't start to like the fifth, sixth day, huh? Like when it was trying to go away. Yeah, that one, that one night, like you was up all night coughing. Mm-hmm. That was. I had to sleep with a cough drop in my mouth. That was Sunday. Because I went back, I went to work Monday. So, that was Sunday night. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm here, y'all, and let's just hope. I don't, oh, uh, uh, that ain't what's up. <laughs> I don't know. And so now I am considering getting a vaccine because I wouldn't get it because I'm like I don't went two years fine, but now that I've had it and it's in my system, <laughs> why not? <laughs> but I don't want to talk too much about that on here because YouTube don't play about all that. So it's about three days later. I'm negative, but I still have like a nagging cluster tension headache off and on. Acute chest pains. It's more like heartburn and uh, <clears throat> my stomach. I can't hold none on my stomach, so I'm still taking it easy. Y'all, I'm finna get so sad because y'all know how I've worked so hard lately for this fireplace not to build up like this. But what can I do about it? So I did get up and comb my hair. It's like slick back. I'm just trying to move around a little bit. It's, it's been 114 and stuff in Texas. So I can't go outside and walk around because I can't risk being dehydrated. But it's really pretty today. So when she, she's taking a nap, when she wake up, I asked her to go walk the street with me a little bit. But yeah, the lingering is worse than when I actually had it. When I actually had it, I just felt like I had the flu, like a light version of the flu. Now that I'm negative, it's like my body's spasm, I guess from fighting it, so. Child, I ain't even seen my beauty room. It's been rough on y'all. I won't complain because like I said, it wasn't nowhere near like I thought having COVID would be, especially because I have underlying issues, which is 
I don't have a lot in on my small intestines right now. I have acute, I have malgastritis, and I have high blood pressure. Um, so I just, that's why I work so hard to dodge it. <clears throat> but I will admit that, like, thank you, Jesus, it wasn't that bad. So, <sighs> I'm finna just take me a good old shower. And, um... Watch Bright Loves Judy. I love that show, y'all. Do y'all like it? And I'm ready to wear y'all. <laughs> I miss getting cute. I miss, like, I... Okay. This thing just keep on fucking falling. I bought another one, though. Well, I didn't buy another one. She and home is gonna sponsor me, and I got some from them. Anyway, y'all gotta go, because... Like me talking right now, <clears throat> it feels like it feel like I'm back 266 pounds. And y'all know what's weird? When I had COVID, I gained three pounds because Walter's appetite was appetiting. And now I done lost that three plus three more. So I'm like, nah, uh uh. Y'all know how I feel when I get too little. I get it, it'll stress me out. So. I'm just talking now. I ain't got no sh What is like, guys? We're at this angle right now because I'm just gonna do some unboxings off camera um, to cut down on some of this stuff. I haven't even been to my P.O. box, so if you sent me something, please just hold out. This is all stuff that was sent to my house. So let me get a better view. I mean, the view ain't good either way, but I got something from Paula's Choice. And they say, time to reveal niacinamide for everybody. So let's just open it up. So this is what's in here. You have the niacinamide body serum. Ooh, a body serum. You know I love the face serum. And it's in a, a grayish package. And then there's a treatment here for all skin types. I guess it's more like a cream. Right here. Alright, my camera's been having a hard time focusing lately. I'm having lens problems, but you best believe I bought another one during Prime Day. Girl, it's just doing the most. So, this is what it looked like right here. Um, yeah. So, thank you, Paula's Choice. And remember, guys, anything I ever show, I always link below the video. Even outfits and where I go to eat and etc. So, next we got a palette from Urban Decay. No, a palette, a package. <clears throat> it says new Vice Lip Bun. So let's open it up and see what they sent. So they always send this card because they have an anti-bullying campaign that they work with, Foundation. So they always put this in the package. Here's the promo card for what I'm about to show. It's Vice Lip Bun. 16-hour um, color that stay on even when everything else come off. They will be available July 2020 two so i link them on the urban decay website and sephora and so this is the box yeah it came in one of those like bubble millers well, it's not a bubble miller it's like full of cloth or something and this stuff got everywhere but this is the packaging right here and this is the container it's a really cute container guys so let me show you it say make sure you shake these really well and i love how the top it's actually the color. Can y'all see that? So this is the three colors I was seeing. I'm not sure how many colors are available. Maybe it said on here. Look like it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve colors available. Yes, yeah, twelve colors available. Um, and it's this pretty pink right here. And it is in shock value. This brown is in Live attraction and this burgundy purplish color is in raw footage and they say make sure you shake them shake them shake them shake them shake them shake that thing up my light is horrible i'm sorry y'all so let's see what kind of consistency this is let me make sure i'm even in the frame oh okay so like like a liquid lipstick so yes thank you urban decay they will be linked we got a box from dermot e they sent over look like some of their anti-blemish products Step into summer skin, vegan, cruelty free, very inexpensive skincare brand. Okay, so they sent over the sulfur, <coughs> sorry, sulfur spot treatment. Hmm, dries out impurities. It's kind of like a, a let's well, say that right there, calamine. Oh wow, 
and then they sent over an acne oil control matte moisturizer Ooh, that sounds promising and then they sent over the anti-blemish clarifying by face toner so thank you so much Donna E so I got a box from Amazon this is prior to prom day I should have waited because this did go on sale for prom day I see a lot of the uh, frag heads talk about this and it is basically a, a radiant perfume it's called oud <laughs> And it was only 30 bucks, and whoa, Bay really loves this. Bay really, really love it. So, um, I'll talk more about it when I do one of my like luxury hauls. Woohoo! I got a box from Treats, guys. So, you guys know I love treats. Basically, you explore food and snacks from all over the world. I do have a code Platinum D that I will link below that will get you 15% off. So, make sure you take advantage of that. I explain this all the time. It's just like trying new snacks because different places around the world got stuff we don't have like Kit Kat flavors we don't have and etc. And it's fun to do with your family, your kids, like a game night. Let's try snacks from Brazil. Let's try snacks from Cancun. You know, that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to just show you how it come packaged. This is the flag. I always tell you guys to guess, 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 guess where this is at before I open it and show you guys the card with all of the details. So this is Indonesia. So they put a pretty little postcard in here. Oh, I want to go here. That's beautiful. Look at that water. It's like crystal clear. Okay, so it tells you fun facts about Indonesia. Y'all know every time I've been in their room two weeks, but every time I come out, my daddy got to make a lot of noise. So anyway, this is everything that's in your box. So let's just go through it. This is like your cheat card if you can't figure out what it say because a lot of times stuff come from somewhere that's not in English. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so it's a water roll. Um, these are like those little wafer roll things. Ooh, Gina, look at these, y'all. Uh, we have these, but I don't know about this brand. Here's some cookie and cream wafer bites. Yeah, my daughter be turning these boxes up. Here's some dark chocolate cookie thins. Here's some, this say nano, nano, see, I can't read this, so let me see what it is on here. It is a textured and flavorful candy with a refreshing taste of candy orange peels. So, it's sweet and sour all in one, or sweet, sweet, sour, and salty. I don't know about that. So, it's two of these in here. Oh, they together. It's a cheese cracker. Hmm, that's different. I wanted to like, um, not Ritz, but um, Cheez-Its. So this right here is called Mamongi. It is a uh, more there where it's at. Mamongi. Oh, let's see this over. Oh, it's a corn stick, roasted corn in barbecue flavor. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, they snacks are really different. So this right here is Regal. It's look like some cookies. That's exactly what. They look like some good old cookies. It's a biscuits that originated in Europe. That's probably good with tea and milk and butter, jam butter. Oh, yep, that's exactly what it say. And this is the Superstar Triple Chocolate. It's like a chocolate wafer. I thought these was Pringles, girl. This is Choco Choco. It's a waffle roll. So apparently in Indonesia, they're real big on chocolate. You guys picking up on it? Most of it, the, and they're real big on like wafer type snacks. So, and then there's potato chips in here. Look at these chips. And it's barbecue flavor. Oh my gosh. I want to try these right now. Should I try it? YOLO. Okay, I decided not to because I look really rough and don't want to be on camera doing this shout out for this company. Um, so, yeah. We have a blast trying these snacks. What I always do is get out the ones that I really, really want to try. And then my daughter take them and do them with her friends. So, yeah thank you so much treats and i will leave their link la girl package i have been having the same code for years nikki 10 on the la girl website so let's see what's new this just looks so beautiful because why is it like so bronzy and chocolatey <laughs> it's the sun kiss collection so oh oh what are these what are those these are shadow sticks in four different colors have like a taupe or true brown or black. No, oh, that's grayish. And like a copper color. Then there's a matte bronzer with two sides. Ooh, this right here. Mm, and a shimmery. 
Oh, no, nah, I ain't giving this away. Probably these sticks. But this and... Hold on. Put the camera down. That'll help me. Let me help me help y'all help us help the world. Oops. We gas tripod. Alright, so here's the matte bronzer. Is it open? Girl, I cannot see. Bless me. So that's what you have right there. So let me see if this is like my uh ebony bronze from CoverGirl. So this is still in the package. Remember when you guys were all sending them to me? I actually I'm about to need another one. So oh I could do it like that. We're just trying to compare the colors. Now, let me open it. Pretty, pretty close. I don't know. There's just something about this that just hit. It's a little lighter. I'm going to still keep it, though guys here's the gorgeous palette and i like how they like put the name on the film like that and then you just you just pull the film back to see the true color so i'm gonna go ahead and give this away too because clearly i don't need no palettes this whole tower right here is dang near full with palettes too so yeah i will leave the link to la girl below Okay guys, so this portion of the vlog will be sponsored by Shein Home. If you guys didn't know, Shein do sell home items. So, I'm not going to do an unboxing. I'm just going to show you guys the items as I put them up. Let's go. They will all be linked below. And say it with me guys, whenever you're on the Shein website, use code PLATINUM15. <laughs> hey, quick break. It's your grandma. Hey, for break. You heard me? He was having a fool. You heard him here acting a fool. Okay, I'll be right back to play with you, but I gotta show them some she and stuff, okay? Say okay. There we go. Look at him. Hold on. Watch this, y'all. Wait a minute, let me walk off again. Oop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Watch this when I walk out. For Frank. For Frank. What are you doing, boy boy? What are you doing? Watch when I walk out. <laughs> Let me get some food. All right, guys, let's get straight into what She and Home sent me. My daughter wanted to replace this rug, and they do have them on She in website. So I just got her another pink fuzzy rug. Next, I got a flower arrangement. We all love putting these in our beauty room. This one come in a whole lot of colors too, but you guys know the color that I picked. And so I'm just sitting it right here to show you, but this is something cute to add to your room. And then I got a water bottle. You see it come in four different colors. I thought this water bottle was too cute, so I couldn't pass it up. Please remember everything that I am showing you from Shein. Code PLATINUM15 will get you 15% off, and I will link each individual item below the video so that is what you drink out of and this is what you put the water in this is way bigger than it look i mean it's not huge but it looks kind of small but it's not so it's the summertime and we're reaching like 114 here in texas and you guys like to go out to day parties and stuff so here's your cute little fan to pull out your purse or you can use it to set your makeup which i'm going to show you a little bit later in the video because i am going to show you guys my no foundation makeup routine so I love that it's just cute. It has the little rose gold ears. Um, this is a vanity. I had one of these mirrors before. Um, I don't know what happened to it. So I got another one. And when I tell you guys, this stuff is so inexpensive. This is an LED light you can put on your camera or when you're taking pictures outside just to give you extra light. I did not have batteries right here. But you will see later on in the video that I added batteries so you guys can see how it works. So this is a bunch of stuff that I would usually get off Amazon, but it's way cheaper, way cheaper on Shein. So this is air fry liners. Girl, it's dirty, but you put this in here so you don't have to wash your air fry out, basically, okay? But I've been sick, so I don't know what that was, chicken crumbs or something. 
So right here is the shower. This is my favorite thing I got. So I can watch videos in the shower. <laughs> so yeah, you just put it in your shower like this. It won't budge. It won't move. And I love the fact that you can touch the screen through it. It's smudge proof. It's fog proof. And I sit there and watch videos. Not sit there. I shower and watch videos. And subscribe to my baby channel. Yes, that's Maya. So it even has hooks on here. That's my makeup towel and my loofah, whatever that thing is called. So I got a toothpaste dispenser and toothbrush holder. So your toothbrushes don't have to be uncovered. Yeah, I love this. It's on the back of my door because I have textured walls. So it wouldn't stick to my wall, y'all. But we end up moving it. And this is a duvet. This is the only thing I wouldn't recommend, but they have them. Maybe you can make yours look right. But I just wasn't feeling it. So yeah, don't forget to check out Shein Home. I did manage to go to work a little bit. Um, Nicole and Sugar was working while I was ill. I did go to work a little bit and then Amazon Prime came and I got a lot of stuff from Amazon. Girl, I just lied. It wasn't a lot, but let me show you guys the few things I did get from Amazon. They did cancel one of my orders, but you'll see that. They work. So let me work. <laughs> can't see but it's literally 4 a.m. in the morning and I just got a notification from Amazon like what and it's really something out here all right so I came to the beauty room I kept the light off um yeah it's 4 a.m. and Amazon delivered this package they ain't uh, playing about getting this prime stuff out so basically what I did was order more lights did all of them come out? And so I'm trying to see should I order more so that all of them can light up. And it does have a remote. You see? So. And then you can like mess with the, how low it go. Like dim it. And then bring it up. All of them aren't even on. So hold on. And then, um, this is how bright they go. And then, like, you can time them. I thought they were, it was different colors. You can turn it. But I don't see that option on here. So, yeah. That's what we have. So, yeah, guys. That's one of my prime purchase, purchases. Because my other, I had a strip light right here, if you guys don't remember. And it, it won't stick and it take too many batteries. So I got tired of fooling with it. So like I said, it is battery operated. And I'm so glad I got up to do. Uh, well, I'm glad Amazon sent this package. Because my candles were still going in the front of the house. So I turned them Alright guys, so I'm a little like some in one clip. And I'm going to just come on the screen and y'all going to be like, there she go. She getting it together. Look at this nice thing. Yeah, my daddy went about the worst water, but I'ma drink it. I'ma drink it because he bought it. So my my favorite little mini air conditioner is not going out, but the plug got a shortage of something in it. So Amazon Prime came. Turn the light back on real quick. That was giving me some light. Amazon Prime came, and um, so I got another one. So let me show y'all. So this is the one that like. It was like 40 bucks, but it went on sale for like $15 during Prime. One of my Prime orders got canceled, and I was mad about it. But let me test this out, and I'll link it below. The reviews were good. That's why I went ahead and went with it. All right, so this is what we have. Dang, I wish I could zoom out. It's close. Slide it right here. Put you some ice at the back. Feel it. Then you can add you some water to go and kick in the functionality of the ice. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up and then you turn it on. See if it's gonna be cool, honey. <gasps> Whoa, I am freezing. Help me, I'm freezing. So long story short, I tried to get both items from Shein home, but 
Shein has this thing where they tell you to pick out a select amount of items and two backups. And so they sent one of my backups instead of the lights that came from Amazon last night. So I was trying to get those free, but Shein didn't send them. And then I could not find this on Shein. So I ended up having to order me another one from Amazon. So. Burr. I got to figure out what all these buttons mean. And I think I just threw the box of the trash. So I'm going to read the Amazon listing. I'm up still been a bum it's like days later and i got like four packages in here so let's unbox real quick so this right here it says amazon and i'm not gonna go into detail y'all know it should lead on to they go swing and bang <laughs> they be very extremely huge and natural, so they gonna naturally do what they do. Casablanca. This is one another one on Amazon finds. And let me show y'all what I do. When I buy stuff, I put a note in my phone. No, don't look, cause it's it, it's long. It's an expecting delivery, and I do the bubble method, and I just tap it. I want to show y'all, cause y'all knows it. And I just tap it as I get the stuff, so that I don't ever forget about something I bought because when you shop a lot it's really easy to be like forget about it but if you put your notes in your phone you can be like i ordered that two weeks ago and it still isn't here does that make sense what i'm saying so yeah this is another amazon prime buy this is the last one i ordered ornament as well ornament but oh this hot it's been to somebody hot truck or something a long time i ordered that as well but they canceled my order. I guess they didn't want to give us that shit at prime price. So they came up with some dumb excuse like, what did it say? An internal issue or something. Woo! I love that. God dang. People been talking about that forever. And I just always was like, $70 because it's an Arabian brand. But don't sleep on them Arabian brands. Y'all are seeing my next luxury haul boom what about i heard you're about to come out and watch um but it was like 79 dollars amazon had took it all the way up to like 79 dollars because everybody was buying it and on prime i got it for 32. it was like 39 and then they had a coupon i hope my address wasn't showing on any of that so that's one package i still need to go to my p.o box they've been calling like a mood do y'all say like a mood? All right, here's the four. Um, I told you guys about this on Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I post the deals and stuff there because there's no telling when I'm gonna post a video. And by the time I post the video on YouTube, the sale or whatever might be over. So I did get the Chanel Chance bath bombs. These shits was high. Like seventy dollars, they say ten. Come in here, so y'all know I'm. Y'all know I'm the bad bum queen. Stop playing with me. It's way more than ten in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like about twelve of them in here. Who they say ten? Should I can't count? They stupid little. You did Chanel. Chanel said yes they did. Okay, let's see the sample. I got Takara Cleopatra sample. It's a perfume. A sample of the new matte primer from Milk, which I'm gonna try that today probably. I love the other one. I always get a sample of bitch. I thought this was mascara. It's clear bra gel. I'm mad about it. And a sample of Goop Glow Lotion. So, yeah, basically, 
I just got that for the Chanel bath bombs. This shit looks so motherfucking good. All right, oops. All right, this is from, I don't know. Let's just open it up and see. Put it in my nose. I'm still not gonna go haywire, but I told y'all with some stuff I was trying to pay off with. I can tell y'all now, I'll tell y'all about it in my luxury haul. I was trying to pay all my credit cards and affirms and afterpays off to a zero balance, indeed. And it was a lot, cause I shop a lot, but I did it. <laughs> Because who don't play, who worked that but I'm sick, tired, corona and all is me. And I'm very proud of myself. So everything has a zero balance. And it took my credit score up a good seven, eight points, I want to say. My shit already. But now it's. Oh, so this is stacks. So it's 10% off your purchase today. Well, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I got some shades. Sunnies, sunglasses, whatever you call them on your neck of the woods. This big ass box for some sunglasses, but it's okay, sex. I got it. So, I saw Gina post these, and I've been telling y'all from my last, uh, one of my last hauls, I got some cream Gucci shades. I was saying that I wanted black ones. But I really want black ones with the big GGs on the side. So, I'm still going to get another pair of it. I can pass these up for the price. I mean, I could have, but I didn't. So the original price was $380. They were on sale for $179. And then I got an extra 25% off. I only paid $142 for these Gucci shades, y'all. No cap. Child. Damn. So they came in the black case. Gucci do not put their name on the outside of their cases for whatever reason. It's on the inside, come with all the little paperwork. This bag, when you don't want to, you know, carry the case. And here are the glasses right here. Oh, these jeans are big enough, child. Nah, I want the big, big ones. They're like this and got the GG on the side. So, I'm gonna need a little TikTok real quick. I do it tomorrow. Maybe a reel because if you didn't know, Instagram is trying to compete with um, TikTok on the apps, like the most viewed rated apps or whatever. And so when you make regular posts, your engagement low as hell because they want you to do reels. So they forcing us to do reels. Last box, my camera's about to die, so I'll be back when I get this out. Okay, every year I have to collect these free backpacks to purchase from some, um, Versace. Last year, you guys saw I, the backpack that came. Let me get it. All right, so this was last year's, and everybody's always concerned about the size. It's not a full backpack. This is the back. And you guys know, when you buy a woman fragrance, you got gold. It still got the stick on it. I did all of it, and I ain't even used it. And when you buy a, men, a men's fragrance, you get the silver hardware. So this is it. It opens up like this. It's like you can unbutton it. It's pretty nice size for a little spinner night. Go get some D-bag or some coochie bag. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is this year's. It's a little, I'm going to eye compare size. It has Versace right here. So if you want to compare, this one is way heavier. So last year was a better deal, but if you are a collector, we collect these every year. I was trying to get a fragrance I don't have from Versace, but the only one I don't have is Dylan Turquoise, and I really don't like that. So what I did was get Crystal again. It is a three ounce bottle, Bright Crystal. No, this is Crystal, which one is Bright Crystal? But I'm gonna get this to Monet because she loves this scent. So it can be like a late wedding gift. I gave her a tennis bracelet the day of the wedding. If y'all didn't see that, it's right here. But I give her this, and it's the big bottle. I, I remember even seeing it in her bag the day of the wedding. So she really, really loves this scent. So, yeah, I paid $100 just to get this little backpack. <laughs> because I'm just going to give this away. Because I already have it. I already have it. Maybe, I think I got the smile bottle. So maybe I'll keep the big one and give her my smile bottle. Yeah, sis gonna have to give me a smile bottle. Because <laughs> I'm definitely keeping the big one. 
it's still a gift though right <laughs> all right guys i got a couple of things to show you guys you know how we've been doing those tiktok unboxings and it kind of almost make me forget about youtube like when i'm on vacation i was so busy trying to get clips for tiktoks and then would look on my camera and was like i didn't even capture that like me in the black dress and stuff like that but um i did get if you didn't know versace i hope it's still on it's having a 50 percent off sale these not on her but they having a 50 percent off sale i was gonna order another roll but honey i got these two right here and i got a purple one but i wanted another one so bad i still feel like i need to treat myself but why the hell do i need so many fucking robes so anyway i got um uh, i put the name at the bottom the medusa necklace this does have a bracelet that come with it but i'm not big on bracelets like this so i didn't get it and then I, i'm getting really big on designer earrings all of a sudden so i got the ones that say versace and then I finally got the Medusa Biggie shades, but I didn't get them in a traditional black everybody like. They come in a whole bunch of colors, y'all. I got them in like this mirrored gray tone. Is the light good? But we'll talk more about all this in a what? I need to just quit showing y'all this stuff, right? Because the luxury how y'all gonna be done already seen it. I'm back home. I'm watching Pat Payton. Lord. Tell me why I don't went. I had me a little out day. First time driving, or oh, no, second time driving. Since I've been COVID free, yeah, I done went to Walmart, the warehouse, Jason's Deli, and left my damn camera at home. <laughs> All right, guys, since I haven't really done anything this vlog, Guess what I decided to do at the end of this vlog is show you guys my 12 minute makeup routine. I have been promising you guys this. Is, of course, I'm going to chop it. So I'll just say this. If you are headed somewhere and you're putting your makeup on with no um, distractions, it's going to be 12 minutes. It might be a little longer in the vlog, but no, it might be shorter in the vlog because I'm not going to like show everything. I'm just going to tell you how I do it. So I'm going to use um, the mirror that I just got from Shein. Because, honey, I need to be able to see. And, um, everything I use be in here almost. And, yeah, let's just get to it. Um, I have plans on, like, getting out. Because, of course, I've been stuck in the house like crazy, um, with COVID. But I changed my mind because COVID, for me, was very mild. It just felt like I had the flu for, like, a day and a half. And then it was, like, a lot of lingering looseness symptoms like one day my head would hurt one day my stomach would hurt one day my neck would hurt one day it's, it's weird i can't explain it but what covid did for me was drain me mentally because i had to sit up and lay in the same bed that i laid in for a month and a half straight the same room the same bed looking at the same window um that i did when my son passed away so it kind of like messed with me mentally so now it's just like me bouncing back from the mental sorry yeah. mental damage that it caused to me not so much as far as the the you know sickness so first things first my face so this is my thing with this routine it's 12 minutes and it's no liquid foundation on it. but you still do all the same steps okay so here's what I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick because I've been in the house three weeks now. Um, I just used the regular eyebrow razor and I'm going to moisturize with the Belief um, True Moisture Cream. I actually like the Belief Aqua Bomb, but I got it confused and got this. So that's what she's going to be using because that shit is high. All right, so I'm not going anywhere. I will link where I got this bonnet from below too. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I do have to do my makeup to show you guys the wig that will be at the beginning of this video. So this is always my quick routine. Like, um, show you guys the sponsorship at the beginning of the video or just running somewhere with Bay real quick. It's not like what I would do like if I had to be in a wedding or go somewhere like really, really serious. Okay, so this is just the, it's real quick. I want to be cute, but not overdone. All right. So after the moisturizer is good into your skin, then I'm going to go in with this milk primer. 
I thought this primer was breaking me out at first, but it's hormones. So I was gonna take it back and something just kept saying, hmm, hmm, hmm. And I realized it wasn't that primer. So we're gonna go in with this milk primer. All you need is like a little, oh, that ain't even it. The hell, that's the setting spray. <laughs> this is it. Y'all see my face like, girl, is that how the Texas is melting? It's like that consistency. And we're just gonna rub this in. Let me see if my moisturizer good in. Here. Note to self, go get my nose hairs trimmed, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna be thinking I got boogers. I was watching somebody the other day and they had white stuff right here and it was falling out when they was talking. <sighs> Child, let's put the primer on. And you, I'm gonna just break this away from my face like this. Okay, so I have this Kevin Aquan stick. I'm just going to cancel out the darkness under my eye. This is what it looked like, y'all. Everything I use, show, go, link below. And it is called the Secret Camouflage. I get the one that's my color, <clears throat> close to my color. And y'all see this darkness under my eye? So I'm just going to like fill that in only. See? And then... Close my eye and pat it in with my finger. It just instantly gave me like an eye lift. Y'all see the difference? So next I take this CoverGirl Concealer Golden Caramel. Look like I'm about to run out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to scrape. I got caramel, but it's a little bit too light. I like to use caramel when I have foundation on to brighten me. Yeah, I'm about to run out. I'm gonna use caramel today. Just know I usually use Golden Caramel. And I do the old school. I know everybody into the new stuff. <laughs> she not. All right. And what I do is I apply this generously because I do have hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. And so I'm just going to use this to like substitute. And I got my Real Technique sponge, which I didn't use for a long time and didn't know what I was missing. I forgot how good it was. So I usually just pat it in. I'm going to just do one eye on camera. And I just let the re the rest of it cover the hyperpigmentation like that. And that's it with that concealer. Just make sure you got it blended in, guys. Because you don't have any foundation for it to melt into. Y'all see? Oh, that's super bright, right? Because I said that I was using a brighter concealer, the Laura Mercier powder. I swear by this. Been swear and this is the one in uh, Translucent Honey. I'm just going to set that, All right? Not bake, set. Okay. So, that's set. After that's set, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder powder. This is Amber Honey. Take a lighter powder. This is a little, the powder is a little bit lighter to me than the liquid. And just tap over that. Just tap over it. Cause sometimes you know we don't want no flashback basically we don't have no foundation so remember we do not have foundation on the blend this stuff in with better so we got to make sure when we on camera it don't look goofy okay we ain't trying to look goofy you see the difference how it like toned me down a little bit yeah they played this song on a boat when we was in cancun and i was asking uh i was asking bishop which is monet's wife what song is that because baby Oh, let me say, quit playing. This is very important. You need this MAC, oop, nope, 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 e.l.f. powder brush. I have been using this brush for years. Probably was the first person to haul this motherfucker. Okay, so MAC Fix Plus and MAC Studio Fix Powder. You, you don't gotta run out and get exactly what I'm using. You just need a full coverage powder, a dewy spray, and a flat brush like this. So I spray my face first. Let it get some moisture to it. We just gonna use the sheer fan. Since it's right here. I usually fan with some paper, but don't let it get too dry. Alright. You just want it to not be wet. And take this powder brush, flat down. Just and do the rest of your face. Now, I'm gonna show you this side and then I'll be back. 
because it's, it's a trick to this, okay? So when you get to this you already did, you brush over it. Don't pat it in. You don't want that full. But the part you want it to be like full cover foundation, you pat. So can you guys see a difference? If not, y'all yeah, see it. Once you have all the powder in, you melt it with this spray again. I like to put my head back a little bit and let it fall. Oh shit. See, I'm so used to doing that girl. I done took a shower. This has three settings by the way. I think I told y'all that. One, two, three. Y'all know what's next. We still go bronze, Curple Girl Queen, Ebony Bronzer. You can't find this, y'all. They stopped selling it. I sent all y'all to Big Lots to get it when they stopped. It was $1.99. So I just showed y'all a good alternative. Yeah. I don't know what that was in my ear. Child, I've been sick. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling around here. I don't even know why I'm bronzing up here because I'm gonna put a wig on. Yeah, I got edges. This is how I got my hair slicked down. Don't play with me. So, we're just bronzing with this. And then the same bronzer, I'm just gonna take it and sweep my eye like this with a a big brush. A big, child, I don't need no brushes no more. Big fluffy eyeshadow brush. And then, with this same movement, I'm just going to take it down my nose and give myself a definition. I'm not quite contouring it, just putting a definition back in it so my nose don't look so flat. We're going to apply our favorite blush. Mine is uh, Black Radiance in Toasted Almond. I should know that off the top of my head, honey. Cheeks, the apples. Trust me, this is only 12 minutes when you get in the groove. It go out so quick. We're not doing no liner. All that. The girls don't really do all that with highlight no more. <laughs> I'm going to take the Lorac tantalizing bronzer and just put a little bit right here on my nose. Just to give me some glow. Back to my face. And a little bit right here. A little dab do you. Whoop. They went a little bit over a little bit, but the point is, we don't do all that like we used to. Brows are very simple. We don't overdo those anymore either. I'm taking um, M. <laughs> Why am I looking at it? MCD Luxury Chocolate Brow Pencil. This is Monet's Miss Creative Diva line. And I'll just brush them really quick with one end. Love this pencil. I have two shades, chocolate, and I don't remember the other one. But, honey, at the wedding, I was like, girl, where my brow pencils? And she made sure I got them. Oh, sorry. Let's tilt the camera like this. Is the mirror in the way? Ooh, sorry. So, I just draw a line at the bottom. Line at the top and connect. And just do, like, soft strokes. Then, when I get to the front, I start fe feathering up. My brows are really dry, guys. You guys don't know, I went from having really oily skin to my hormones is making me dry. So I, I haven't really adjusted to that yet. I don't like it either. I like having oily skin. That means my skin go last longer and preserve longer, but you can't tell your body what to do, right? So basically, after you get your brows on, then you go in with your setting spray. I either use the Urban Decay All Nighter or I use the Patrick Star One One Size Spray. This is heavy duty, nighttime, waterproof. So I kind of try to say that if I don't have to use it and lock it in. The Fix Plus was just to take the powder out of this stuff. That's going to lock it in. I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put it on my top and my bottom. My face is done, y'all. That's all we doing. And when I do my bottom, I turn the brush sideways like this. Like I have to have bottom mascara on. 
It just makes the look look so much better. So I don't have any lashes in here, so we'll come back to that. This is 1119. Um, I'll put the color below. It's I told you it's a teenager. She's in college. Uh, it's a lip liner. Did I say that? Girl, y'all cannot line my lips no more. I really can't look at that like a clown. I kind of overline. It's a good chocolate brown liner though. It has a sharpener too. Amy's Treasure Thickly. Y'all know I love this. It's the perfect chocolate girl pinky nude. And I just hooked that on and blend it in with the liner. Girl, I need to put my teeth in. Girl, there's somebody trying to talk about snap-on veneers the other day. Girl, them things a thousand, fifteen hundred, seven hundred dollars. Ain't nothing to talk about. Shit. Oh lord. Yeah, this society right now. And y'all know what I always say. Trust me, y'all can afford the real thing, but why when they doing just fine? Why pay ten, five, ten, fifteen when I can pay a thousand? Coming sense to me. I got kids and stuff. That almost made me sad saying that. But I have a child. Ugh, okay. That's what I meant for me to say that. But what I was trying to say is like, I'd rather spend my money on my kids and my chat. I'm not going to handle the whole breakdown on this vlog. I'd rather spend my money on my child. Okay. So that's cute or whatever. But I'm gonna amp it up with this. Um, this was sent to me, Jasmine Anise. I'll link it below too. And the color is Sweet Cream. Oh, it smells good too. Ugh. Yeah, I love me some Doom Baby lips, honey. Let's put our lashes on, and I'm done. See, that's what that's all. I gotta go get some lashes though, cause I don't have any in here. I took them out of here to take them to Mexico. Now I gotta go to the beauty room and get them. All right, so basically that's the makeup routine. I'm about to do my hair now. And I just squished these in with my nails. And then I'll be back after I do my hair. But just in case I forget, cause I always forget. Here are my removable veneers. I, um, I have a link. I have a lot of them and I have a pair in my purse too um I have a link I will leave below it's an affiliate link and I have coupons I will leave below um I it used to have a hundred dollar off coupon but girl we're in the middle of a recession almost so I think it's fifty dollars now so get them before it turns into 25. <laughs> oh time the last is just sitting up here on top of my body butter Hmm. Yeah, I don't want got a whole new pair now. Baby, I want to put them teeth in now. <laughs> so, yeah, now I'm finna do the wig reveal. This look like a pretty good wig. It's synthetic. But the braids are gorgeous. Oh, okay. Anyway, this ain't the video. Baby, look at this braid wig. And it's so lightweight. I had a braid wig before, but I had to get rid of it. It was so heavy. It's long. Oh, I love this. It only takes this long to put on, and it's glueless. Just look your baby hairs back down every day. Girl, I need to go somewhere, I don't know. I don't need to sit at home looking like this. No foundation, 12 minute beat, five minute braid wig. If they don't take five minutes to slick your baby hair down. Girl, this is cute. <laughs> Let me show y'all the difference without my veneers. Y'all know. Unless you're new. I'm gonna just take out the top. Uh uh, and do it. I'm sorry. See? Just elevate your smile. <gasps> What the hell? Got a four for him to hit the floor. 
I will have to go clean them. Snap them right back in. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just get, I ain't been cute in a minute now. My cute, yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to end the vlog right here. I'll see y'all in my next one. I got a lot of work. I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. So if I hit y'all back to back, just know I'm catching up. I was out of town, came back straight sick. So I ain't worked work in like a month. All right. Love y'all. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video.